Hi, today we're going to be working on drawing and naming a compound. We have um, a whole bunch of parentheses and an alcohol here. So as we get ready to name, um, as usual, we're going to be first trying to name the parent chain, second naming the substituents. And before that, we need to unpack all of these parentheses into a structure that will be easy to name. So as I look at the structure on top here, I notice that there are two different um, sets of parentheses. These parentheses are at the beginning of the chain, and that means at the beginning of the chain, those groups are each going to be connected to the first carbon that they're touching. The other type of parentheses we have are the parentheses in the middle of the chain, and those are going to be connected in a continuous chain of carbons. So let me show you what I mean, and I'm going to draw a carbon skeleton to represent this. I'm going to start with these carbons here, and get rid of the H's and just draw that I have two carbons, okay? And those are connected here to that next carbon. So this was that CH that we see there, okay? Now, I see that there are two of those ethyl groups, and so the second one I'm going to draw coming down. Next up, I hit these carbons in the middle. I see that this is three CH2s, so I'm going to draw one, two, three for the three CH2s, and then those are just smashed in the middle, and here comes the next one, a C with an OH on it. So now I have a carbon chain structure that will actually be easy to name. First, I'm going to name the parent um, chain, so I want to find the longest continuous chain of carbons, which I see across here, and because I have a functional group, the functional group also I know has to be attached to that parent chain, and it also needs the lowest number priority. So that tells me I want to start my numbering down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and I see all single bonds, so with seven carbons that's hept, with all single bonds that's like heptane, and then it has the alcohol, so it's heptanol. And I need to include the number of carbon that that OH is connected to, the alcohol, so one heptanol. So that's the parent, including the functional group. The last thing I need to do is name and number the substituent. The numbers are going to stay the same based on where the functional group was. Here I have two carbons that have one connection back to the chain, so that means that these are an ethyl. The dash between the word and the number. And the address or the location of them is at carbon 5. So the name of this compound is 5-ethyl-1-heptanol. As a final touch, we can also draw this as a skeletal structure. Um, so if I draw a skeletal structure, I'm going to do zigzags for the carbons initially. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 carbons connected up to that alcohol. And then if I look here at carbon 5, 7, 6, I have an ethyl coming off, so that would be the skeletal structure of 5-ethyl-1-heptanol. There you have it.